in this upcoming RX 8000 series GPUs are not going to compete with Nvidia and that is good for them. Well upcoming AMD RX 8000 series GPUs are going to be based on RDNA 4 architecture or improvement over current RDNA 3. And according to leaks and rumors these GPUs are going to be based on TSMC's N4P process nodes. Right now we have seen only two chips a Navi 48 and Navi 44 which are rumored to be clocked around 3 gigahertz to 3.5 gigahertz and they will use GDDR6 memory not GDDR7. Not only that it also looks like that AMD is rethinking how their GPU uses or utilizes ray tracing. Right now AMD GPUs are capable to process ray tracing but they do it completely different way compared to Nvidia and even to Intel. They don't have any separate block to process ray tracing. All of their ray tracing tracing shaders or ray shaders are a certain portion of their normal course and according to some leaks and rumors this thing going to change but let's talk about what I said earlier in the video why AMD is not going to compete with Nvidia and why it is good for them. AMD is not going to compete with Nvidia when it comes to high-end GPUs. There have been numerous leaks from numerous leakers that AMD is not going to make any high-end GPU. The highest 8000 series GPU we can see from AMD could be from 400 to 600 dollars in that price range the higher end if we make an educated guess could be a 800 monic if we look at their current 800 monic GPU the 7800 XT it is one of the best GPU of this generation if we compare it to Nvidia Intel AMD it doesn't matter it offers you great value it offers you great performance but the problem with that GPU is a little power hungry compared to its competitors and that is a problem that AMD has been facing for a long time and it looks like that RDNA 4 is going to be their redemption arc and I think they should play in the mid range they have done it before with their Polaris series they just played in the mid range the 400 the 500 series and those GPUs were popular there are people who are still using those GPUs to this day ah the good old days of my childhood and if AMD play their cards right which a lot of leaks are suggesting that they might because 8800 XT or XTX is rumored to have same performance as RTX 4080 if AMD is able to bring RTX 4080 level performance at $600 heck I would want them to do it 450 or 500 dollars but i'm sure it's gonna be from 550 to 600 dollars if they are able to do that well they have a great great gpu on their hand and i think we can get a glimpse of their upcoming gpu in the upcoming computex keynote i'm not sure this is not based on any leaks that i have seen this is speculation from my side i'm sure at this point nvidia doesn't really care a lot about their gaming sector as they used to care five years ago because right now it has transferred from a gaming company or a GPU company to a full-fledged AI company like look at every single AI brand or any company that is working with AI their backbone is built on top of Nvidia and that's uh, huge thing to achieve and that's the reason i think nvidia will not give that much value or will not give that much thought to their mid-range as they will do to their higher end because if they launch a better gpu let's just say 2x more performance than 4090 and they can price that gpu whatever they want because there's gonna be a nothing like that gpu like right now there is no alternative to a 4090 if you want a 4090 level performance you need to buy a 4090 and you need to pay up that 17 18 or heck two thousand dollars and that is why the low to mid-range market like a floodgate if amd able to make good value for money gpu they are going to definitely capture the whole mid-range market and obviously they need to improve few things before they make a good GPU like FSR. Yes, FSR looks good when we compare to DLSS. You can use it on any GPU you want. At 4K, it looks good. But when you lower the resolution at 1440p or 1080p, it falls apart very quickly and not every single implementation of FSR is good. You will see huge difference 
of FSR implementation from game to game and even if you use a modded version of FSR in a game it will per sometimes perform better compared to the native implementation of FSR. They need to have competitive ray tracing performance on the GPU. Yes, rasterization performance is good but love it or hate it, ray tracing is going to be the future of the gaming industry. But at the end of the day, these are tells for future to tell so we will see what happens in the future. Until then, if you like this video, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, hey, you can dislike it. And let me know in the comment section why did you dislike it. And if you want to watch more videos from us, check out this video right here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, which I will definitely suggest you, you do. Well, do it by here. And this is Akash. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.